Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with the Nyx. Here on Sundays, we like to chill out, relax, and watch some good old-fashioned animes, etc. As you know, we're doing episode 1002. I guess that's four, but 1002 of One Piece. And it's going to be a great time. That's how I feel about it. I hope you do as well. I did notice that the beginning of this episode has a little bit more recap than usual. Uh, more like four minutes as opposed to like two and a half, whatever, you know how it is. The intro and the recap for One Piece always take up a good chunk of that that episode time. But I'm excited for it because we're really getting into the thick of things. We're going to start getting into the heavy portions of fighting for this next part of the story and lead into the heavier parts of that Wano climax. I once again have I am once again asking you for more time to read the manga because I didn't do it again this week because I was busy uh, resetting stream schedules. But either way, it should be a fun time. As always, if you watch with us, remember to support the original content creator either on Crunchyroll or, of course, through the stuff, uh, you know, um, mangas and, you know, toys and, you know, all the great things. I really should pull out Kuma sometimes to be here in the One Piece stuff, but I'll show him off another time when I feel like... I feel like it. In any case, thanks for watching, whether you're watching live with us on Twitch, later on YouTube, or, you know, watching with full audio, full video over on Patreon. I appreciate the heck out of you guys. I appreciate the absolute shit out of you guys. Okay, yeah, this is a mature channel, so if you're watching this, I curse. And we're going to go ahead and get into this episode before I spend all day talking about getting into this episode instead of doing it. Wait. Did I? Nope. Yep. So this is all repeat. Like the got to fire himself. And now when he blows out, he doesn't look like he's done for. Oh no, he looks pretty tired still. He just doesn't look like he couldn't go back into fourth gear. Damn, he got fucked up. They really got him real quick, didn't they? He's a pervert, but I can't help but admire him, man. He just. No, you are! <laughs> In the pool of blood! <laughs> she's so... She, she's so... Damn, uh... I'm sorry, too. I keep... I know that board is squeaky. I'm trying to avoid sitting on it and stuff. Don't try to pass your nosebleed off is cool. I love the blur. Did you see the blur going along with his breathing? The artistic choices get better and better every season, bro. Like, once again, it's so shocking because you go from old school One Piece, which is blur, and then to this, which is woof. At least compared to old. Like, obviously, there's way better animation out there, but. Look at the big welt that's Drake sized on his head. It's a Drake sized welt. It's actually bigger than Drake. But now I got kicked out. Let me in, bruh. <laughs> How can we trust such a shallow bastard? I forgot they all wanted, they were like... Ooh, look at Jinbei. Ooh! It's like, even pirates have a moral code, bro. Not all of them, obviously. And it's an up and down, you know? But there is a code, man. Rear guards, true heroes. A, They really are. They protect supply lines. They can protect your, obviously, flank, but all kinds of stuff. Uh-oh. Once a traitor, always a traitor. To be fair, he's like, he's, he's not necessarily wrong, like, right, like, Zoro's not wrong about it. I can't blame you. <laughs> he's, at least he's not, like, tripping on it, but, yeah, Zoro's actually kind of in the right, right, because he knows something's not right with Drake, but it's just that Drake's a Marine, not that, you know, Drake's gonna try to get him here. Oh, yeah, sure you will. At least they have this to give, to give Peyton some love, bro, because I feel like they really shit all over page one, both here and in the manga. Like, he has no love, bro. He's like, I already beat that guy up once. Oh, 
that I no, I don't remember this. What is this added in? Like I kind of remember an attack from Paige. Nah, bro. Why is it Page One they gotta use to do this? I think this is actually from it, but I just remind it reminds me of it, and that's why, like I said, they really did. What is her weird laugh there? Oh wow! I remember this. I remember this. This is straight from the comic. Oh my god! This is straight from the comic. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. I can't remember from here, so pretty much everything after this I've seen. Yep, alright, that's what I thought. Okay. Yep, that seems familiar, though. They never change. Informant, 350 mil. He didn't even really get that big of a raise from before. I think he's barely double what he was at Shabaoti. Like, maybe a little more, but that's kind of funny to think that he really hasn't gotten any bounty raise at all. He didn't deserve one, didn't Mitch? The ten of you have destroyed a lot. Okay, this is where they do some of the backgrounds. This is where they explain why they get beat up so easily. This is well done. Oh no, when you phrase it like that, it's not necessarily the same way it was phrased before. Hey, there he's back. This really shows Luffy's growth as a uh, person and as a captain. Even though he's still obviously hot-headed and, you know, not great at making decisions all the times. He's shown that he can now pick a fight if he needs to and not just have to make, take whatever fight comes at him. He's like, usually he'd sit here and try to beat this guy up and waste some time and energy. And don't get me wrong, he'd win, no, no doubt in my mind, but he'd be wasting time he didn't need to. He's so smart. Jinbei is the strategist that they needed. The one who doesn't just have a plan, but has an awareness of combat. Right, like Nami has a plan, right? She knows what they got to do. Uh, Robin knows what's going on, and everybody else knows certain things. But nobody has ever really had an idea of the full picture, and I think that's Jinbei. He's the big picture guy they needed. Look how angry he is. Oh, he thinks it's a toy. I thought he was in love with it. With the hearts. But I guess he's infatuated with the toy. Get ganged up on, boy! Run up on them! <laughs> hey, look, usually in the straight up one we aren't, but fuck this guy. I like how they allied over this. I remember too, he dissed him in the fucking comic from what I remember. He really dissed him. Or was that killer? I can't remember. He really dissed somebody at some point and they got pissed at him. Ice. Ooh, alright, here's the new queen thing. He does have interesting ability, though. Or, you know. pretty cool the way they did that the whole pack instead of just queen that's cool wait that was the episode no way bro that pat that flew by and i know i know it was partially because obviously we've got uh the the big philip not filler but the big recap intro but geez that passed so quickly guys like honestly i didn't even notice by the time it was uh going through.
Like I, I fuck. But it was good. I thought it was really well done. The, the this is maybe one of the better translated episodes from what I remember in making it interesting and filling in some of the gaps and expanding upon the manga while not adding in too much filler you know what i mean there was a lot going on i, I really enjoyed it i thought it was really well done and uh i can't wait to see how they go from here that's why i was excited for this because this is where the story kind of pushes in again there are just spots right like one piece is very good at knowing that it cannot always be an action-packed real story right it needs to progress and move and flow in an up and down motion which means some parts are not going to be as thrilling as others right they're going to be a little more setup and then those episodes are made better when the setup comes to fruition later right and those better episodes feel better like we talked about it in the shaman king episodes we were watching where episodes 11 and 12 i think it was in the new shaman king 2021 work together to make both episodes better as a unit Having said that, I really enjoyed it. I'd love to talk with you guys more about why it was so well done, but we only have so much time in episodes like these, and I don't want to bore you guys forever. So with that said, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to support the original content creators. Check out Crunchy One, all that stuff. If you enjoyed watching us here on YouTube, like, comment, react, subscribe, blah, 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 all that great bullshit. But more importantly, have a great day. And if you want to chat with us, come check out our Discord, which is linked below. And, you know, we can talk about everything. Comics, movies, games, tech. We, we really do love chatting with people and having fun. So come on by and we'll try to have fun with you too. Wink, wink. No, not wink, wink. I don't want to get sued. Have a good day.